today we're gonna do something fun. This is the flat faced hair dryer. Um, you can buy these at fluid-art.co, the fluid art company. Now, I found this hair dryer a couple years ago and I had a lot of fun with it, but some people are having a hard time figuring out how to use it because it's very different than a regular hair dryer and it will give you a different look than your regular hair dryer. So you have to be aware of what's happening here. Now, you can see I use it quite a bit. So what I liked about it is that it's flat faced. So it gives you a different kind of glow. With this hair dryer, you have to push your paints out this way, okay? Because the air is coming from here and you have to direct it and push it. Now, be aware, the reason I liked it is because <clears throat> it wasn't a strong blow, okay? So your paints weren't flying everywhere, but you have to be aware of that if your paints are quite thick. So I like to use this hair dryer when I'm looking for more of a flowy look where my cells and lacing aren't necessarily gonna reach all the way through because it doesn't blow that far. What happens is the cells happen more in the middle like a natural flower and the rest are just the colors blowing and it looks more like, kind of like a Dutch pour. So um, if you want that flowy look and you're not super into like cells and lacing everywhere, then this is the one for you. So also it would, like I said, it would work better if your paints are a little thinner. So why don't we get to work and see, I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, I can use my colors that I used in my last video because I love them. Really pretty purples and a touch of red. Um, okay, let's see what we're gonna do. Okay, let's discuss colors. I actually mixed these two new colors up. Um, this is magenta, golden magenta. And this one is uh, Matisse Vermilion Red. You can use any brand. I actually really like Cad Red Light, but I couldn't find it. It's kind of like an orangey red, which might look cool. So the things I had already mixed up, I've been using this a lot lately. This is the Triart Rose Gold color, really pretty. This is TLP uh, Grenache, really nice, like reddish purple. This is a custom purple I made, um, which is, I just took Diox purple and I added some bone black to it to make it deeper. I really, if you watch me, you know I love my smoky perps. And I had this TLP um, ball gown mixed up, which is a gold interference. So these colors could be kind of cool. Now I have to think about layering. I want to mention, I'm using color to go tricorn black. She's back, my favorite pillow. So this is black. Now on such a small piece, this is eight inches. You might not even see it, to be honest. Um, you might, you might not. On bigger pieces, you definitely would, um, unless like I blow through and some of the black comes up. So let's talk about layering. Oh, and also, hmm, I do, from my last video, I do have white and um, purple cell activator mixed up. Normally I would probably like to do black, but, or uh, gray, but we'll just use what we have, right? So if we know, should I use the purple? I'll use the purple and the white again, that was kind of fun. So if I'm using the purple and the white, and I wanna top it with a tube paint, I'm either gonna top it with the red or the pink. <clears throat> I think the red might be a little much, so maybe I will top it with the pink. Now I'm working backwards. This is how I figure out my color situation, right? Um, and on the black pillow to start, might be nice to start with this gold on the black pillow. So she's going on the bottom, right? Now, the dark purple will go next. And this rose gold might pop nicely over that purple. And then that leaves the red and then that with the pink on top. That's basically how I figure out my layering. Um, usually works well for me. Okay, who are these colors? Look and look what I did. And I don't have gloves. Um, but are these colors too crazy? I don't know. All right, enough jibber jabbering. Let's get this black down. I haven't used you in two years, my old friend. 
I hope you treat me nicely. Now it's quite thin. You don't need too much. Now I have not thinned my paints from my regular um, consistency. So we'll see, I might wanna do that a little bit. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Let's make sure she turns on, right? Good. Now, uh, A, I haven't used her in a while, and B, um, we might have to adjust after the first blow. You never know. So let's get to work. So maybe I'll do a little pile. Well, you want a big enough pile for it to blow, but I do want to try to keep some of that black. We'll see how that goes, right? Okay, so we have the ball gown. We have my custom smoky perps. Oops, what's going on with her? She might, she's a little blobby. Um, we have the rose gold. This is like old school. Me, tricorn black, my hair, my little hair dryer. So two years ago, I love it. Um, let's get some of that red down. Okay. Um, we'll get that sangria down. Cool. I'll just move these out of the way and I'll top it with the magents. The magents has boobles because I just mixed her up. And this has a bouble. Let's see how she goes. Okay. So I'm going to go white and then purple cell activator. Before I do that, actually, let me just spread the black out. So when I spin, she goes nicely. Oh, my tricorn, how I missed you. She's normally very well behaved, which we love. Okay, let's see. White. And I'm gonna do a big bullseye for the big hole to get, you know what I mean? Perps. Oops, come on. Okay, she behaved. Let me just get the middle. breaking it up a bit. Now, sometimes you might want to blow out the middle with your mouth first, but you see, because this pillow is so thin, she blew out very nicely. She was happy to blow out for us. If you have a thicker pillow, she might be a little more, you know, harder on you. She really get a straw. But we'll let her do her thing and melt and you know. So unfortunately you're not really gonna see, well, you'll see maybe some black here. You're not gonna see much black around the negative. But she made cute cells. We're just gonna wait till they come back together a little bit. And spin her out. And she does spin out far because she's so thin. I mean, we'll see if we actually like the color combo. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we shall see. And maybe, should I do one with a thicker pillow? Hmm. I'm gonna give her a few more minutes to get these going. Um, do I even have, I mean, so basically in the white, the colors would go white, it is a touch thicker. This can happens to be not super thick, but it is thicker than that. So we, why don't we give it a try on the white too? All right. So I'm going to spin her. And while she's spinning, I'm going to go get another eight incher. Oh, don't make a mess, Lisa Marvin. Jeez. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> That's the bad thing about using real black pillow is it just gets everywhere. Uh, hold on. Are we looking? She's cute. So there, you know what I mean? Look at, like, come on, you can't complain, right? Uh, do we have much paint left? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm gonna go get another one, one moment.
All right. Um, cute, bubbly, flu, flu, flows nicely. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a close up of this one, and then why don't I do one in the white color to go, just so we can see the difference. Be right back. Okay, test two with white color to go, which is thicker than the black. However, this can't actually, it's pretty thick. So I used to get can, oh yeah, it's much thicker. I used to get cans and sometimes they were so thick I could barely blow them out. So each can is kind of a little different. For this one, I'm not putting too much because it is thicker, um, it kind of deceives you. You don't want to like cover the whole thing. because It's gonna spin out. Let me just get my little tongue, dep ugh, tongue depressor and see it's pretty thick so curious to see actually if this blows out as well and then that would be a good indication um whether you want to use a thinner pillow paint for this okay what colors did i do even do i even remember oh hello i'm gonna switch it up now because we're on a white base so because we're on a white base why don't i start hmm, why don't i start with this rose gold so i'm just gonna <clears throat> remake oops remake my uh layering here so we'll do rose gold i'll still do this which is a cell activator lisa marvin do not be fooled i'll do my smoky perps which got quite thick over <laughs> the span of 10 minutes on top of the smoky perps we will go ball gown because that gold will look nice over the purple and then i will do the red All right yeah we're going somewhere here we'll do the red then I'll do the sangria and then the magents. Then, oops. I'll do the same thing of the white and the purple cell activator. And we'll, hopefully this blows out as nice as the other one, right? So notice how I blew down first and then pushed it out. Or alternatively, I can blow it with my mouth first, but I'll do exactly the same one I did last time. So we're going white. And we are going perps. Okay. And we are putting her on. I did have to blow it a little harder, but it still was okay. Now, I am, double cell activators tend to do this more, by the way. Well, you do have to break them up a bit more in the middle if you don't get them, so don't be alarmed. What, well, how are we doing? I'm just looking for spots that I didn't get, but it blew out pretty well. Um, you know, can't complain. So again, this, I would say this pill is like a medium. It's, it is a touch thicker than my Glidden Essentials eggshell, which I also like. Um, so she works well. You see with these double cell activators, you get huge cells. So if you like huge cells, that's the way to go. Give her another minute. We'll give her a spin. And there you have it. I mean... It is just like anything, any tool, you have to kind of like, you know, uh, fiddle with it a bit till you get the feeling, but it is a blow and the push and a little bit of an angle because you want, you're really pushing the cell activator over your paints. 
Okay, let's see what we got going on here. And the double cell activator also really helps for bubbly cells, if you're, if you're into that thing, that type of thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at cute. Where did the black come from? That purple really turned black, didn't it? It looks cool, like really cool scenarios happening here. With this, you do have to spin a lot to get it moving because it is thicker, the color to go in white. But actually, you know, I got pretty good full coverage for an eight inch. It looks a lot like a tile, doesn't it? Like a coaster. So there you go. The thicker your pillow paint, the smaller and cuter your cells will be. So there. So I hope this video helps. Um, check out, I, I really, I've been using this hair dryer for years. I really enjoy it. It gives you some cool different looks. So check out the Fluid Art Company if you want to purchase her. Um, let me know if this helped, if you have any questions. Love you guys. See you soon.